Have a hearing loss and want to customize the way that you hear music? Well, in this video, I'm talking about a product that lets you do just that. The Omeo Tailored Audio Device. Coming up. Hi guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Anthem, Arizona. And on this channel, I cover a bunch of hearing related information to help make you a better informed consumer. So if you're into that, consider hitting the subscribe button. If you have hearing loss, you know exactly how difficult it can be to appreciate music. Now the best way to treat this problem is to actually stream audio directly into a set of hearing aids that are custom programmed to your hearing loss prescription. But what happens if you have hearing loss in only one ear or you end up going to the gym and you don't want to wear your hearing aids while you're working out? You need to have a solution that allows you to listen to music with regular headphones. Well that solution is here and that solution is Omeo. The Omeo is designed to identify certain areas in your hearing that has reduced sensitivity. Basically meaning if you have a reduction in hearing in any certain frequency range, the Omeo is designed to identify that and compensate for it by giving you more sound at those frequency ranges. But before we get into how the device actually performs, let's check out the unboxing. All right, pretty straightforward unboxing of the Omeo. Let's take it out and set it to the side here real quick while we get everything else out of this box. And first thing is the warranty card comes with a 90 day warranty. You can see all that warranty information on their website there. And then you have the getting started manual. So it has all the steps that you need to follow in order to get this thing set up and working right. And then here we have a little carrying case for it in that box. And then in here we have a power cable and a 3.5 millimeter jack. All right, as far as the Omeo goes, on top it has a 3.5 millimeter jack. That is for your headphones. It has a volume wheel right here to increase volume, which you can see on this little dial that it has here that lights up when this is in use. On the bottom it has a 3.5 millimeter jack. That's what you take this and actually plug this into your Bluetooth device. I'm recording this audio from my phone so I can't plug it in, but you would plug it in like that and then you would just have this kind of dangling from your phone uh, as an intermediary device to your headphones. If you didn't want to use that, you would make sure that you have the Bluetooth toggled here. If you did want to use this, you have to make sure you turn off the Bluetooth. This right here is your power on button. And if you want to also pair it with your phone, you will hold and press that down and it will put it into Bluetooth pairing mode. So that is pretty much it. Very simple device and let's see how it works. The first thing you're gonna wanna do when you get it out of the box is go ahead and charge it with the USB charger cable that comes with it. When you're done doing that, you're gonna wanna go ahead and go into your phone or whatever Bluetooth device that you have and download the Omeo app. So let's go into the app and actually open up and create an audio profile. Once we're inside of the audio profile, we're just gonna follow the instructions here and we're gonna adjust this dial to the very softest sound that I can hear. And in my left ear, it's pretty soft for these frequencies, 1000 Hertz, 2000 Hertz, going up to 4000 Hertz, 8000 Hertz, and 12,500 Hertz. Now going over to my right ear, we're going to start off 125 hertz, can hear it very softly, very softly there, 500 hertz very softly. Now when we hit the 2000 hertz, this is where I actually have some hearing loss at, so the dial is going to be have to turn to the right more, which makes it louder. And 4000 hertz, a little bit of a hearing loss there as well. And then back to normal at 8000 hertz and 12500 hertz. So now it's gonna go ahead and create that profile. And I get to name that profile. I'm just gonna name it Cliff's Audio. There we go. And I'm gonna go in and actually look at that audio profile that I created. There it is, Cliff's Audio. And my left ear is completely normal when you see those pink purple marks. This is my right ear and anytime that you increase the dial to where you have to make that sound louder, you'll see it in blue here. So you can see that at 2000 hertz, I have a hearing loss there, and at 4000 hertz, I have a hearing loss there. 
So what Omnio is going to do is it's going to compensate for the hearing loss at those specific frequencies and give an additional amount of sound at those frequencies when it's playing music. And here I'm going to hit start to load that profile. And there you go, it's loaded and ready to go for me to play music. Basically it tests you at eight different frequencies between a very low pitch 125 hertz all the way up to a very high pitch 12,500 hertz. The test that I took in the Omeo app actually looks very similar to a hearing test that I have when I'm being tested in a clinic. One thing I need to mention is that if you find that you have a hearing loss while you're testing your hearing for this app, you should absolutely go and find a hearing care professional in order to get a professional hearing test done. This is particularly important if you have a hearing loss in only one ear and not the other. That could indicate something that's more serious that's causing that hearing loss. After you create your custom sound profile, you'll be able to upload that into the Omeo and go ahead and listen to any kind of audio from your phone like you normally would. So now that you know how it works, let's get into the pros and cons of the Omeo. And pro number one is that it actually works. Yes, it is always helpful for a product to do what it says it will do. And in my case though, I wasn't able to actually tell a difference with my hearing loss in the quality of sound with the Omeo and the quality of the sound without the Omeo. But what I was able to do is go back and create several different sound profiles that mimicked either a single-sided hearing loss or a high-frequency hearing loss or a low-frequency hearing loss. And it did have a dramatic impact on the way that music was being played from my phone. So the Omeo definitely does allow for customization. Which leads me to pro number two, which is the Omeo works even if you don't have a hearing loss. I have to admit that the sound quality coming out of my Skull Candy earbuds and my Apple earpods is not the best. But the thing is, is that I can trick the app into giving me different frequency components that I appreciate when listening to music. And in the case of these guys, I was actually able to go into the app and say that I had some form of hearing loss or reduction in sensitivity in the low frequencies, everything from 125 hertz to 250 hertz and 500 hertz. And what that does is it tells the app that they need to boost the low frequency sound more coming out of my device and that translates better into these little guys here. So even if you don't have a hearing loss, you're actually able to use the Omeo to customize the sound a little bit better going into your headphones. And if you have better headphones than this, it'll probably make an even bigger difference. Pro number three is that you can still make and receive calls while using the Omeo. In fact, you can go into the Bluetooth settings screen and actually change whether or not you want call audio to be active while you're listening to music. And so if you want that functionality, you need to make sure that it's toggled on and then you can make and receive calls just like normal and have it stream right through the Omeo. And pro number four, the Omeo lets you use your existing headphones. There is no need for you to change to a different headset if you have ones that you like and they're wired. This is a really nice benefit of the Omeo, that you don't have to go out and buy an expensive set of headphones in order to get the functionality that the Omeo gives you. You can have a set of really comfortable earphones that you already have or headphones that you already have and just use the Omeo to customize the sound into those devices. You just need to make sure that they're wired headphones. That's it for the pros, but there are a few cons about this device. And con number one is that you have to have wired headphones. Now I absolutely love my custom Bragi Bluetooth earphones and I even like my IQ Buds, but I can't use them with this device because while it does have Bluetooth, it only Bluetooths with the audio device that you have. If you're gonna use the Omeo, you have to have a pair of wired headphones. Now I personally really hate having wires on me when I'm working out, which is pretty much the only time that I will listen to music through headphones. But if you're the type of person who wants the highest quality audio possible, you're probably already using wired headphones and using the Omeo and integrating the Omeo probably won't be that big of a deal. Con number two is that the Bluetooth signal from the Omeo is weak. When I'm streaming music into my earphones, I wanna be able to set my phone down and walk away from it and still get uninterrupted sound quality. 
while you won't get it to be perfect with pretty much any Bluetooth device, when you're using the Amio, you better have that Amio really close to the Bluetooth device that you're streaming from. Otherwise, it is going to sound horrible. In fact, when I do decide to use this, I actually opt to use the 3.5 millimeter jack audio in and then plug the other end into the headphone jack of my phone. That way, I can directly pull that sound from my phone and up into my ears. So basically, this is just dangling from my phone when I'm using it. And con number three, you can't adjust the equalizer while you're listening listening to music. You actually have to go in and completely take a new hearing test in order to create a new audio profile. This does not let you customize sound as you're listening to it, which would be the ideal for someone with normal hearing and probably actually would be a benefit for someone who has a hearing loss. Overall, I think the Amio is a terrific product to solve a very specific problem. If you have a hearing loss and you want to be able to customize the way that sound comes in through regular headphones, it definitely serves a purpose to do that. And on the other hand, if you have normal hearing and you want to customize the way that you hear music, the Amio lets you do that as well. The Amio is very affordable at about only $130 and I will go ahead and link it in the description below if you want to grab one for yourself. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please share it. And if you want to see more videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.